Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to trade uh, uh, forex uh, courageously, all right? So what I'm going to do, I want to trade forex courageously without fear. I want to buy uh, the British pound, US dollar at the market price. You see the price now at 1 to 962. That's the market. She's changing now. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to buy straight away at the market price at 16963. Right there. Okay. 12963 at the market price. Pay attention. All right. So there is a reason why I'm recording this video today. Uh, this is my first video after, okay, uh, 25 days, holidays. So if you have been wondering where was George, have you been hiding, George, why you are not answering the emails? Okay. The good news is that I'm back to my normal life in London. So from tomorrow, I'll be recording more videos as usual okay so do not worry so now market price at one to nine six three okay buying the british pound us dollar now why am i talking about how to trade forex courageously now any time that we are buying okay any currency pair or any financial instrument at the market price we are courageous. You need to understand that, okay? Normally, the best approach, you see now, so what I did, I just bought it straight away, all right? I bought it straight away at the market price. Now, it takes a bit of uh, courage to buy at the market price. So for no more traders, this may sound like, uh, George, what do you mean by it's courageous? All right, it is courageous because professionals do not buy that way. They buy using limit orders. Okay, so you see the price was here. If I want to buy, I will not buy straight away at the market price. I will place a limit order somewhere, a bow here, expecting the price. If the price continue to go up and reaches that level, all right, my limit order will be filled at one to nine seven zero. That's the conservative way to buy it. But a lot of uh, forex traders very often will just buy, okay, a currency pair or any financial ma financial instrument at a market price. It is very very courageous. But what I'm doing here, when I'm using the word the word courageous. It means that uh, we do not worry too much about the risk, but we should worry about the risk, all right? We should always take into consideration the risk. Okay, what I'm trying to say here, we should always manage the risk. We should always control the risk. And the best way to control the risk is to use a limit order to buy or to sell. Whenever you are buying at a market price or at a current price, all right, straight away, you will have been courageous. This is what I'm showing you here. But I want to explain to you what I'm doing here. You see here, I have here the stochastic A33. This is my setting, my only setting for the stochastic. And I'm on a three minute time frame, okay, for new traders that are new to us. You'll notice that, um, okay, I can tell you now that uh, when I start trading first, I was trading on a three minute time frame and I was using this stochastic 833. You can see that my stochastic 833 has formed a double bottom chart pattern. Can you see it? Okay, see here on the three minute time frame, it formed a double bottom chart pattern, okay? It is a bullish. Okay, pattern, all right, for the stochastic itself, but not for the price. What usually take place, which I explained to traders before, traders that are using the 24 4 sp trading material, traders that are following us, I've been talking about the stochastic patterns, I've been talking about how to use the stochastic like a pro. What, what usually take place, you will see that the stochastic will form, okay, a bullish chart pattern. Okay, like a double bottom chart pattern, okay? Pay attention. And as the stochastic forms, the double bottom chart pattern, as we see, have it here, sometimes 
the price will not form a double bottom chart pattern before the stochastic form its own double bottom chart pattern. Am I making myself clear? So as you can see on this chart, the stochastic A33 okay, has already formed the double bottom chart pattern. But on my three minute time frame, the price does did not yet or does not yet confirm that double bottom chart pattern. So what we usually see, we, what we have observed is that sometimes the stochastic will form first the bullish chart pattern and then the prime will confirm the, the pattern. Are you with me? All right. So stochastic form the double bottom part, chart pattern. Sometimes the prime will, will now form its own double bottom chart pattern. If the price now form a double bottom chart pattern after the stochastic has formed the double bottom chart pattern, that double bottom chart pattern that the price has confirmed is usually a valid a double bottom chart pattern. Okay, is it clear? So stochastic form first a double bottom chart pattern, and then slowly by gradually later on, all right. The prime will also form a double bottom chart pattern, which means the prime is confirming the stochastic double bottom chart pattern. If we see that very often, it's usually okay a high probability double bottom chart pattern. Now, for some trader, they will say that to me, George, thank you so much. That's all I need from you. You can keep quiet now. But there are more to this. All right, <laughs> there are more to this. So when a stochastic forms the double bottom chart pattern before the price, and then the price forms its own double bottom chart pattern, we will say that we have a high probability double bottom chart pattern. But it does not mean that the price cannot continue to go down. It does not mean that we should buy straight away at market price, assuming that the price will definitely continue to go up. All we can say is that the price has a high chance. This is the correct word. It's no guarantee, but there is a high chance that the price will go up. So a high probability that the price will go up. So a lot of traders already understand what I'm trying to explain here. But the reason why I'm dwelling on it is that those who are aggressive traders, those who are new traders, may not okay, get into trouble. So for instance, suppose you see this on a daily chart. Okay, So stochastic form a double bottom chart pattern on a daily chart. You are a swing trader. And then, okay, you say, all right, but the price did not yet form a double bottom pattern. Okay, and then a few weeks later, the price has formed a double bottom chart pattern to confirm the stochastic pattern. But it shouldn't be too far away from where the stochastic form a double bottom chart pattern. All right? So here it is, the stochastic completed its double bottom chart pattern here. We don't want the price to confirm the double bottom chart pattern, okay, too far away. We want it to be somewhere here. So for instance, if I see a double bottom here, I will say, okay, this is a good one. All right? But when we see that on a daily chart, stochastic forms the double bottom chart pattern, and then the price confirms the double bottom chart pattern, we do not buy straight away. What do we do? Well, you know the drill. We use a top-down trading method. We use a multiple time frame trading method. All right? This is how we control the risk. All right. So talking about how to trade forex, okay, courageously, all right, we are talking about using limit order to enter the trade instead of using the market price. We are also talking about using a top-down trading method or a multiple time frame trading method to trade it instead of, okay, just buying straight away or selling straight away at market price. So 
What I'm doing here is a bit risky, but it's for educational purposes only. So can see it's forming a double bottom chart pattern on the three minute time frame. If the price form again confirm that double bottom chart pattern on the three minute time frame, I would draw a warning line. Okay, so I would draw a line like this. If I'm scalping, I'll draw a line there. And I'm again just uh, in the so can see from now it's not here form, it's, it's going up a bit more. We'll see now it's ready. And then I will just buy it using 10 pip or 7 pip or 8 pips and give it a chance. Sometimes you'll be surprised the price will go up nicely. All right. Now there is another way we can use this uh, double bottom stochastic pattern which I already explained to traders is that when the stochastic forms okay, a double bottom chart pattern at the time when the price is retesting a prior high, it is a high probability double bottom stochastic pattern. So now I'm explaining something different. So first time I explained to you what I was telling you before was that stochastic form a double bottom chart pattern and then the price confirmed that double bottom chart pattern. We use a top down trading method to trade it. Now I'm trying to explain something different to you. This is Another scenario when the stochastic form a double bottom chart pattern at the time when the price is retesting a prior high. Alright, so financial instrument is going up and it form a, the first high. So this is the first high here. Now it goes above the prior high. This is the prior high. So I'm going to highlight the prior high on my chart. Boom, that's the prior high here, here, here it is. So prior from, prior price going down from a high, goes below it, and then continue to go up from a new high. If the price pull back to retest the prior high, which is this one here, and at the same time, at this point in time, here exactly on this vertical line, we notice that the stochastic is also completing a double bottom chart pattern. Usually, this is a high probability trading setup. Now, I will not dwell on it. You can replay the video. You can go back a bit and replay, replay, replay it until you understand my beautiful accent that everybody loves. All right, this is to make you laugh a bit, all right? <laughs> all right? So this is uh, how we use the double bottom stochastic pattern. So stochastic form a double bottom chart pattern. We wait for the price to confirm the double bottom chart pattern. Remember, when we are talking about the double bottom chart pattern, so you will draw a line like this, you see here? See here? And the price must go above that common center line. But the double bottom chart pattern is not yet ready, it's not perfectly ready. If the price did not go above what? The neckline. So if you want to know how to trade a double bottom chart pattern like a pro, go to www, go to okay, George Trio YouTube channel. This is another channel that I have. My number one YouTube channel is George Trio YouTube channel. But this channel to for forex trader is speciality forex trading. So you see here, so the price must go above. So here you can see that the price is still below the common central line, which I'm called I'm going to put now into red on my chart. Here it is. If the price close above it with a bullish candle. We can attempt to buy it and expecting it's quite aggressive. What are we are doing? Expecting the price, okay, to complete the double bottom chart pattern, which we must find a support above the neckline. All right. But going back to the main topic today, how to trade forex courageously, you can see that I'm expecting. Okay, the British pound US dollar on a, this a three minute time frame to confirm, okay, to confirm this a double bottom chart pattern, this stochastic double bottom chart pattern. But I have been courageous, as you can see, because I did not wait and I did not use a top down trading method and I just bought it 
at market price at 16963. Since I bought it, you can see that uh, the price didn't go down very much. So it went down to uh, 16958, so five pips only. So if I'm using, for instance, 10 pips for this train, I can st I'm still in this trade, yes or no? All right, so five pips only since I entered the trade, it went down. So it's still hanging around here. But, at, but still, I've been courageous because I did not use a limit order and the price did not yet confirm the stochastic a double bottom chart pattern. All right. So there are many stochastic patterns, but there are only 13 specific stochastic patterns. What I mean by specific, which means essential. There are only 13 essential stochastic patterns. All right. Which one must know if one is day trading, swing trading, or position trading, one must know those 13 specific stochastic patterns. The reason is uh, we need to have high probability trading setup. So this is about the trading drill. Find a high probability trading setup, right? Validate that trading setup, okay? And then what? Use a top-down trading method or a multiple time frame trading method without violating okay, the trading triangle, which means pay attention to the fundamentals, the economy news, the market leaders, what we are talking about here, the trading triangle. So as you can see now, so I need to remind traders that this video is for educational purposes only. So when we are talking about educational uh, forex trading videos, we are talking about Pointing out, okay, few mistakes, all right, that traders are making and showing traders how to avoid those mistakes because sometimes we are repeating the same mistake over and over, all right. So one of the mistakes that we are highlighting here is about trading courageously, buying at market price and traders are doing it all the time. So now you can see that I bought it straight away at 16963. If the price continues to go down, I will lose because I'm not patient and I did not, okay, use a limit order. The limit order allow us to control the risk. So I will say, okay, there is a high chance that the British pound, okay, the British pound US dollar may go up, but now I don't want to be the first person to buy. I want to be, okay, patient. So I'll put my limit order probably somewhere up here. So on the three minute time frame, I may put it somewhere here. Okay, I say, okay, if it goes up to 16966, I will buy because the price did turn around here and find a support and there was a bit of a consolidation here. So I want to buy above, okay, the consolidation zone, a little bit two or three pips above this small consolidation or the three minute time frame, something like that. So I'm not buying straight away. I'm waiting until the price changes direction. But because I'm buying straight away at 16963, okay, at market price, I have been courageous. But there is a risk to it. And to control the risk, we use a limit order and we use a multiple time frame trading method. As you can see, I'm only I'm stuck on the three minute time frame alone, which is another trading mistake, day trading and swing trading mistake, trading on a, a single time frame. I've been talking to you now for 28 minutes, all right? Hope, uh, okay, you are getting the message. This is the most important thing. Use limit orders and use a top-down trading method. There is uh, no value in trading courageously, all right? Now, if I go a little bit deeper, all right, so here we are. I'm going to go now to the daily chart. There's something going on that I want to show you on the daily chart. So... I have a few lines, not too many lines, it's not few lines. So I'll try to remove <laughs> code on place traders. Okay, just going to start removing some line here. To clear my charts a bit, a bit. 
it's coming it's coming it's, it's getting a bit uh, okay, much better now okay yes let's remove some line here by the way the trading software that i'm using today is uh, tc2000 beautiful beautiful trading software okay now I'm, okay I'm on a daily chat now. I remove one line that I did not want to remove. Okay. So we're on a daily chat. Okay. Pay attention to, so if you are trading the British pound, US dollar, pay attention to this line. So what we have done, which I still have on my chart, I was connecting this point here, this point. All right. was connecting the high of uh, August 25th, August 25th, 2015, that's the high, I was connecting that high to the closing price of this candlestick bar here on the 23rd of June, if I'm correct, should be the 23rd of June, 2016. Am I right? Yes, because we know what has happened here. The Brexit, you remember the Brexit? 23rd of June, 2016, okay, with a closing price. So connecting this, the high, right here, to the closing price of, okay, 23rd of June, 2016, allow us to draw the red trend line. Now, all we need to do now is to select just one point below, and draw a line through that point. Oops. This is the point that I want to select. Okay, so we select one point here, and then we just draw a line that is parallel to the red line. All right, so here we are, I'm trying to draw a line through that point that is also parallel to the red line. So I will color that new line into red on my chart right here, boom. So connecting so it has to go to that point exactly that's the red line to that point that is parallel to the red line is it parallel so because i'm just visually looking at it and see whether i'll measure the width and try to see add it here and see whether yes it's look parallel same distance good beautiful all right you see so i have a new line so what is happening here you can see now we are going a little bit deeper now, all right? A little bit deeper now. So stay with me as I'm pushing it forward after resting 25 days without going on YouTube. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, because my life, in fact, is on YouTube. <laughs> all right, so you know that. So if you see, uh, on a daily chart, look carefully. What is happening here? Sometimes traders do not pay attention to this. They don't consider this as a consolidation, but there is a tiny consolidation taking place on a daily chart. Can you see? Price went down to the zone of 12963. You see, boom, down, and then went back up to 13044. And then, boom, down to 16963. So there is a, a bit of consolidation between, uh, okay, one to nine, six, three, where I'm buying aggressively, and the zone of one, three, zero, four, four. So we can, as, we can ascertain that on this daily chart of the British pound US dollar, the current, this currency pair is consolidated, and the price is at the lower part of the consolidation. So talking about consolidation, there are different types of consolidation. This is one example of consolidation when the price is in a horizontal channel, but we also know that a consolidation can take place in a triangle, all right? Also in a tiny rising channel and also in a tiny declining channel. 
after an impulsive move, after a bullish move, or after a, a bearish move, we may have a consolidation, either horizontal channel, a triangle, or a tiny okay, rising or declining channel. So we have a consolidation here. So when we are talking about consolidation, so professional traders are buying near the level of 163, 16963 on a daily chart using a top-down trading method, all right? And as the price approaching 13044, they are coming out. And the bearish trader will sell at 13044 and will be ready to take their first profit near the media line of the channel. And they will take their ultimate profit at the lower part of the consolidation. All right. So for somebody who is swing trading, the best place to buy is near the low of the consolidation. All right. That's the best place. The second place one can buy if one is swing trading is when the price is rising from the lower part and close above the median line of the consolidation. In any case, we'll use the top down trading method. The third place that a, a, a bullish trader will buy is when the price finds a support, break above the consolidation, retest it, and turn around. Or the price from a higher, the first higher low above the consolidation. But the best place is the lower price. The second place is the median line. And the most conservative place is when the fund is finally for fund is support above the top of the consolidation of fund is support. The bearish traders, the best, the best place to sell is at the top of the consolidation. The second place near the median line when the price is going down from the top and a close below the media line, we use a top-down trading method to push it down to the lower part of the consolidation. Another place that a swing trader may sell is when the price D below the consolidation and the final resistance below it, break below, retest and around. And in this case, again, we'll use a top-down trading method. So you see the bigger picture now. On a daily chart, we have a consolidation and I'm trying to buy aggressively, courageously near that lower part of the consolidation. But the mistake that I'm making on a three minute time frame, though I'm not violating the market pattern on a daily chart, we see consolidation here. The media line is uh, in a zone. I can put it now on my chart. Okay. It's roughly in the zone of uh, one to nine. Okay, 9.6, that's the media line of that tiny consolidation on the daily chart. Okay, I'm not violating the market pattern, which is a consolidation, because if you want to train, one of the biggest trading mistakes is the violation of the market pattern. So though I'm buying aggressively, I'm not violating the market pattern because I'm trying to buy near the lower part of the consolidation. But there is one more thing I want to show you, okay? Though, there is this tiny consolidation that is taking place here. If you pay attention to the red channel that we have drawn on this chart, we can say that this currency pair may continue to go down if it finds a resistance below the lower part of our tiny consolidation. It may continue to go all the way to the edge of the red channel. So at this point in time, all I can say to traders is that priority to, all right, bullish signal above the 16963 and priority to bearish signal below 12963. And if you find a resistance below 12963, we'll use a top down method to sell it, expecting it to continue to go to retest the lower part of the red channel on the daily chart. So there is this channel, it's a declining channel, it's a bearish channel on the daily chart, but the price is consolidating in a tiny channel here. There is another consolidation here, a bigger one here. Are you paying attention? Went down, down, went down, down. But there is a tiny consolidation here. Now that we see the bigger picture, we know that, okay, the price may continue to go down up to the edge of this channel. If we want to buy, we want to buy a bull, 16963. And we will take our first profit as a day trader at 12996 media line. And if you continue to go out, it may go to 13044, the top of the tiny consolidation. So now you see, so now I'm trying, though still my trade, look at what has happened so far. 
aggressively bought it at 1 to 9, 6, 3. All right. So let's see whether it went down more than 10 pips so far. Okay. okay so this is the candle that we are using. Okay. It went, the, the lowest point was this one here now. So you, the lowest point went down. It's a 1 to 9, 5, 7. All right. So six pips since we entered this trade aggressively, courageously, it only went down, okay, six pips. So if I'm using 10 pips here, aggressively, courageously, I'm still in this trade. If I'm using 15 pips or 12 pips, I'm still in this trade. And now you see what I was telling you now, what I was explaining to you, the stochastic has formed what? a double bottom chart pattern now the price has confirmed oops the double bottom chart pattern on a three minute time frame but before i was trading courageously and i did not pay attention to the daily chart i did not pay attention to the market pattern but i survived okay so now the stochastic has confirmed uh, now the price correction traders correction now the price has confirmed the stochastic pattern are you with me now so the stochastic has formed first the double bottom chart pattern okay is it clear here it is so remember when we are talking about stochastic pattern, do not use any other setting except the 833. You can call it Jotrio stochastic setting. 833, nothing else. So do not look for stochastic pattern when you are using any other setting for the stochastic. It's just very, very important. Otherwise, you are doing something else. All right, 833. So now the stochastic has formed this, the double bottom chart pattern and the price is now confirming the stochastic pattern. But I have been courageous. I didn't wait for this common central line to be broken. And I did not wait for the price to go above what? The neck line. Now we have the neck line here. And the price is now breaking above yeah, the neckline. The neckline is at one to nine six eight. So I can count myself as being lucky today because though I've been courageous forex trader, courageous FS trader, courageous currency trader, the market was nice to me and okay, it is working beautifully. All right. So I've been talking to you now for 32 minutes. You have seen it. Okay, as I explained to you, it's for educational purposes, which means we are highlighting for us trading mistakes that traders are making. We are showing traders how to avoid those mistakes. The best support, use a top-down trading method, use a limit order, do not use market orders. We are also talking about stochastic pattern, use the stochastic 833. We explain to traders a specific, okay, okay, stochastic pattern, stochastic from a double bottom part chart pattern, then the price confirm the pattern.